stroke victims at Beaumont Hospital, a serious Camogie champion, no less. Armada and Rose, please welcome Eleanor McQuaid. Is there anybody left in Tom Timber tonight? I believe Tom Timber is empty. It is only <laughs> Mon Hill itself is empty. Look at all the banners. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> they, they, they have been uh, celebrating for the past few days, but you've been used to celebrating in Monaghan this summer. Oh, we're well used to celebrating in Monaghan this summer. And um, this summer, the Monaghan Seniors brought back the anglo South Cup. The Ulster Miners brought back the Ulster, and so, does the, so did the Monaghan Ladies. They brought back the Ulster as well. So we've been celebrating till that night. It's been great. Are you, are you just looking at your own going, how are they <laughs> there after all our hard work? Oh, I felt sorry for the boys, in all honesty. You know, they worked very, very hard, and it was very unlucky. Um, but look, there's always next year, and um, they're, they're fighting fit, so looking forward to seeing them again next year. But they did fantastically well to bring the bring Cup back to Ulster, or to bring the Cup back to Monaghan, rather, um, after 25 years. So congratulations to them. <laughs> You're a physiotherapist yourself, weren't you? Yeah, I work in Bowman Hospital in Dublin at the moment. Um, I just started there in March. Um, so a big hello to all of the staff of Bowman Hospital who are watching tonight, I believe. And what type of uh, patients do you work with? Um, at the moment, I'm working with respiratory patients mainly. Um, I'm a rotational staff grade physiotherapist, so uh, we rotate every four months into various areas in the hospital. Um, so presently, I'm working with respiratory patients, uh, which is patients with general chest problems, difficulty breathing, and difficulty with mobility. So, so uh, you play Kabogi yourself? Yeah, King Kabogi drivers. <laughs> That's all the and girls. And you, you have your few Ireland medals. Yeah, we do. In Monaghan, we have two All-Ireland medals. We worked really hard for them. Uh, 2010 and 2011, we came back with the All-Ireland after working really, really hard. So, well done to the girls for that. <laughs> and you're, you're also the, you were the captain of the Irish Shinty team. Yeah, I was, yeah. And we'll talk about that in a while because we're gonna, you're going to tell me the difference between a, a hurl and a, a Shinty stick. Yeah, I'm going to educate you, darling. Educate me. It's very, very hard. No, we we'll packed that for a while, but something that really struck me, you are qualified to drive Big machinery. Yeah, um, well, I don't know if qualified is the right word. <laughs> <laughs> I can Good do stuff. it. I may not be legally qualified, but I can do it. <laughs> um, my dad is very keen. Um, he's a machinery enthusiast, let's say. Um, so I can I can turn my hand to a few machinery, yeah, lorries, tractors, and, bikes. And uh, Dad, is she a very good driver? Because I, I, I think she ruined your new shed. <laughs> what did you do to Dad's poor shed? Oh, poor Daddy. Um, well, this is quite a while ago. I was only learning how to drive at the time. Now, bear with me. Um, <laughs> he 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 um, bought a new galvanized door for the shed. It was lovely, shiny and new. And um, he got it up. Spent spent ages putting it up. And uh, we took a photo of the door. And um, everyone congratulated Daddy on his huge efforts. Um, but later on that day, I realised the keys were in the car, and I couldn't help myself. Got in. And then um, the car was left in gear, and I don't know whose fault that was. Could have been Daddy's fault. Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, I turned your, the. Your dad was probably take it safe just in case the handbrake the handbrake went away. That it was the car was in gear and it wouldn't go anywhere. Well, <laughs> little did you know. And um, unfortunately, yeah, I turned the ignition, um, and the car went straight into the new door. Yeah. Um, so it was a big dent the whole way along it for for many years after that. So the door didn't last too long. <laughs> Did your driver's license. <laughs> anyway, we have a hurl and a shinty here. We were chatting about this, and you're yeah. the captain of the Irish shinty team. Now, they play yeah. shinty in Scotland. They do, okay. they play shinty in Scotland. Um, yeah, I was lucky enough to be elected as captain of the Irish shinty team in 2007. Um, and <laughs> what I always find when I tell people that is that there's a confused look on their face as though, you know, what is shinty at all? And so, sort of just to let you know kind of what it is, it's basically um, ground hurling and they play it mainly in Scotland and um, so every year there's an annual shinty series um, and the Scots come over here and we travel to Scotland and um, there's just sort of some obvious differences they thought were interesting to show the audience and um, so this is obviously your standard hurl with yeah. the Monaghan written on the front of it um, and then so there's a nice big boss on this one but you can see with the shinty stick that it's much much longer yeah. and it's much sharper at the edge here so with ground hurling you can imagine this so, stick would be the one you'd choose how, how would you take a puck out then that's the thing because you, you wouldn't be able to do it like this no no so what would you do, do do you want me to no you can just tell me like yeah uh, it's, it's basically like a big golf swing okay we'll say you have to hit it off the ground so you'll just take a nice big swing at it take a go dotty Pretend there's a slitter there, 
We're aiming from the back of the room. Indeed, the trousers for two nights, I better take it easy. <laughs> so that's what you do. Away you go. Perfect. Okay. Great but, shot. So the goalie doesn't have any, any special hurling or anything? No, 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 it's the same. It's, it's just you can, it's only grind hurling. The goalie is the only person on the pitch who can actually touch the ball with his hand, his or her hand. Um, but they can't actually catch it or anything, they can just bat it down with the hand. It but it's a major disadvantage for us hurlers, unfortunately. Oh, dear. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, she is our Monaghan Rose. Will you please give it up for Elder McQuaid? <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> we have a competition for you at home where we want to send one of you to New York City with a ball of money. And where there's all the details. 